The RTA takes full responsibility for the confusion that's been caused. And the agency spent much of Tuesday apologizing for what it said was a mistake when word got out about a possible test that could close dozens of intersections and streetcar stops on Canal Street. This route is used by about 3 million people annually. It's about 17% of our total ridership. Um, and 90% of those riding this line are local. The RTA says it believes the idea could speed up travel times for streetcar riders, make service more reliable, and cut down on the number of accidents from cars that cross the tracks between Harris and Carrollton. Neighbors believe decisions are being made without their input and fear the test could become permanent. We wanted to know what was going on. Where is your neighborhood input? Uh, how, where's our participation? You had a date of May to June to implement this study. Uh, and there's very little time uh, between now and then. Members of the City Council's Transportation Committee were equally concerned. I just guess we want to make sure, again, on the record, to assuage concerns that there haven't been any permits issued for closing of streets. I mean, I think the answer is no, but I think we just do ourselves all a service by saying it out loud. But Jared Munster, the RTA's interim executive director, promises nothing has been decided. He says the agency is now seeking public input. It's step two of a four-part process that will happen before any changes are made, but those who showed up to Tuesday's hearing were skeptical of the entire process. We have a deeply flawed process, a deeply flawed study, and deeply flawed recommendations. We have been drilling through the numbers on this. Do not rely on this study. And so, again, there you hear a lot of people not really convinced that this would be the best idea. Also not convinced are several city council members coming up at 6, hear what one of them has to say about this plan and what the RTA says in response.